Hey guys, today we're going to be continuing on watching the Spy Psychology series by Johnson Hill 2. So far, they have been amazing. This one's going to be part three, which is How to Disguise. The first two parts were so good, man. They had humor in them, but they were also super informative of what it's like to play Spy, especially for someone like me. I'm a new player. I haven't played Spy just yet, but it's going to be the next class that I try out. It's just been really cool to see these videos on things that I need to like look out for when I start playing Spy, some of the basics. And it's just been really awesome, and I've really enjoyed it. So thank you so much to everybody that re recommended I should watch these. They have been really awesome. And thank you to everybody that's been liking and commenting on these videos, man. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate the support. You guys are awesome. But with that being said, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button. Please and thank you. And if you want to, you're more than welcome to come hang out with me on Twitch. If you want to play some TF2, I'll be sure to put the link in the description down below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say this is this is definitely a different intro than the rest of them have been. This is awesome. Okay. This this very much feels like the open into a like a TF2 show, like a TV show. I'm not gonna lie. This is really cool. Disguises don't work, they say. Well, I'm here to say that's big, dumb, dumb, stupid, dummy talk. Instead of <laughs> okay. Out like a black French fry, you'll blend right in with the power of acting. But be warned, the disguise kit is not a tool for getting behind the enemy. The cloak is. The disguise is for blending in and not getting shot by sentries. Okay. This is fooling no one. <laughs> and also, you should turn on player models in the HUD and advanced options, as this will help you out a lot later. Now, before we can get into the acting, we need to go over a bunch of other stuff. Oh, man. You can change disguises. Dude, dude, so far, just a couple of videos we've seen from John Hill 2. They're just so good, man. Another awesome TF2 creator, it seems. Much quicker when already disguised, so you can switch up your act on the fly. You can also press the B key to assume you'll last use disguise without opening up the disguise kit. Oh. If you're already disguised, though, pressing B will switch the weapon your disguise is holding to the weapon slot you are currently holding. Oh, I see. Confused? Let me explain. Your revolver is your primary, your sapper is your secondary, and the knife is your melee. If you switch your disguise's weapon while holding your revolver, your disguise will switch to holding their primary, such as the flamethrower on Pyro, get a gun on Scout, oh, on Soldier. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, because like I said, I haven't played the class just yet, so this is something that I really needed to know. <laughs> Heavy and so on. If you do it while holding your sapper, your disguise will hold out their secondary. Okay, Generally, makes sense. Shotguns. If you do it while holding the knife, of course. Melee. Okay, yeah, this makes so much sense. Question. Why? Why am I switching? <laughs> just notice the heavy dude. <laughs> well, hold that thought because I'll get back to you on that. Next is how your identity theft works. When disguising, you'll take the identity of a random player on the enemy team who is playing as the class you chose to disguise as, inheriting their name, cosmetics, equipped weapons, and even their current health. If nobody is playing okay. the class though, you'll instead take the identity of a random player outright and appear with a stock loadout. Also, when disguising as a spy, you'll also appear as a disguised spy. I know, definitely not confusing. <laughs> Another thing is the disguise smoke. When you disguise, the spy throws up a cloud of smoke before he transforms. Sounds pretty normal, but do note that if you cloak right after disguising, the disguised smoke can be seen following you. you okay, yeah. Disguise after cloaking. Even being partially cloaked when you start the disguise negates the smoke entirely. Backside is more to see if they'll actually turn around. So half the time they don't. Come on, almost there, almost there, almost there. Oh. Almost there. <laughs> and that's why you always cloak before disguising. Did you okay, know you dang. Can primary by simply reloading while disguised? This will cause your disguise to be seen reloading their weapon. Unless it's a weapon that can't. The, I can faintly hear the Harry Potter music in the back. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and finally. Post-spawn war hacks. If you're uncloaked oh. while you're disguised, enemy players that just let spawn can see the walls. It wasn't always like this, and it's kind of dumb, but be wary of it because stuff like this can happen. Hey, wait. 
aren't you forgetting that you can like um disguise as a teammate and like fake their death using the dead ringer? Oh yeah, that. Uh, um, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of cool, but I haven't really seen anyone put it to really good use. I love this. Faking the death of a teammate, it's kind of obvious, and I just don't use the dead ringer. But hey, if you want to try that trick, I'll install you. Dang. Oh. How to detect a there spy? Are many ways that a disguised spy can be detected beyond doubt. Okay. And as a spy, you should be wary of them. Players on the same team are able to just walk through each other, whereas they cannot with enemy players. The latter is the case with disguised spies. So if you bump into someone more disguised, it's best to assume they now know you're a spy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and only the engineer who built them can stand on friendly buildings, so don't stand on the dispenser. <laughs> As mentioned before, when disguising, you take the identity- Dude, the editing style of this is just fantastic, I'm not gonna lie. Like, everything even down to the text, the music, everything about it is pretty well done. ...of an enemy player, meaning if the player you disguised as sees a clone of themselves, they'll either have an existential crisis, or they'll know you're a spy. <laughs> Sometimes it can also help to disguise as the player you kill. Flames. When you get hit by flames while disguised, the afterburn effect is immediately visible. And the same goes if you get hit by the Mad Milk or Gerardi debuff. Being cloaked halves the duration of flames, milk, and Gerardi. Okay. So you use this knowledge as an escape option. Okay. So. <laughs> Sometimes the disguise mechanic isn't perfect. Demo with a minigun, NG with a knife. The thermal thruster is completely invisible. <laughs> what is the? <laughs> what is that? What is that? That is so. <laughs> that abomination. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my god, dude, okay. Horseless headless pyro, and him. The weapon is it him? <laughs> ...can be avoided if you pay attention to the weapon your disguise has, as you can fix it by switching disguised weapons. But with stuff like the missing pyro head, you have no way of knowing when it happens, and you just kind of have to... accept it. Welcome to playing Spy. I'm gonna play in spite. Are these glitches still in the game? Let me know in the comments down below. Have they fixed this since this video was created, or it's just still a thing that just randomly happens? Be wary of all the ways you can be detected while disguised. As if any of those scenarios occur, it's best to be able to know the moment you've been foiled. Oh. Oh. Acting. This is the fun part. All the stuff I've told you up to this point, this is why it's important. Oh, because okay. While it's the subtle things that give away a spy, it's also the subtle things that make him convincing. Oh. You see, your disguise is okay. Can music be change. Good players, just under the right circumstances. The main trick to fooling people with disguises is to draw as little attention to yourself as possible. If Makes people sense. aren't paying attention to you, they're less likely to notice something is wrong. And what's the best thing for drawing attention away from you? Your team. <laughs> Your team. Sure, that sniper over there may or may not be a spy, but if this medic doesn't pay attention to the immediate threat right in front of him, he's going to die horribly. <laughs> but of course, whoops, the sniper does turn out to be a spy and stabs the medic as he starts back. Oh. Yeah. But let's change the situation a bit. Instead of standing there looking at his own team, the spy is running at the medic looking straight at his back. Okay. The medic sees this and backs away from the spy defensively. By looking directly at the medic and running at him, the spy has drawn attention to himself, as opposed to here, where despite the fact he can't scope in, the medic is still fooled just because at a glance, nothing seems wrong. It's also especially effective because the spy has thought, hmm, if I actually was the sniper, where would I be looking? And of <laughs> course the answer is right at the other team. Seriously, wheel looking plays a huge part into the effect of oh man, disguises. yeah, it, it, this does seem like you know, of course, for for a while now, people have been like, man, spy is like the hardest class to play, and I completely understand why. It does seem like it takes a lot more skill and uh, just knowledge of the game itself in general to be able to like pull up spy well. 
You start looking towards your own team and people just sort of walk in front of you. In fact, just walking backwards is surprisingly effective. It can be risky considering you might bump someone, but it'll work more than you might think. Also, you remember about how to switch disguise weapons? Yeah, while well, switching your weapon to something appropriate will make your disguise more convincing. Okay, makes example, sense, yeah, blending in. When Kyra's nearing a fight, he'd have his flamethrower out. When at a distance, they'd instead pull out their flare gun if they have one, or be looking for a flank. And if they have a power jack, they'd be holding it out while running to the front lines. And trust me, people won't notice you aren't getting the speed boost if you just start jumping around. <laughs> now, if you turned on player models in the HUD before, you can see your disguise's cosmetics. If their cosmetics give off a vibe that they're really experienced... Okay, so that's why that's why at the beginning they turned on the setting here. Okay, I see that act now. That way. Or if it looks like a new player, you should instead act like that. You're assuming the identity of another player. So get all the info you can about their looks, class, and weapons. Get into their mind. Pretend. Okay, I'm just gonna say these videos are getting better and better as I go on. Like, not only does it seems like the editing's getting better, but just like the the quality in general, the entire video, like it's just getting better and better. Hats off to Johnny Hill too, man. It's the subtle things that can convince people of your act. Just being seen switching weapons, faking a reload, using voice commands, or taking a teleporter so you have the glow can be enough to make people turn their backs. Here's an example of me acting realistically. Here, I stab this NG, but this demo sees me cloak. So now, I know <laughs> that it's coming. I huddle in this corner and disguise as sniper and pretend I also saw me stab the NG. And I have my melee out. And he falls for it while actively <laughs> looking for me. There are times like this where you'll have to get creative. Okay, that was cool. That was classic. In fact, that was cool. disguises is like a trick stab with less of the mechanical skill and more of the mind games. Often, acting can be opportunistic. There's no one way to go about it, and being erratic and unpredictable makes you harder to detect. Also, another secret strat. Ask your teammates to shoot you. <laughs> this is an actual strat that works. As I said, it's the subtle things that convince people. So having someone from your own team shooting at you can be enough to trick someone for long enough that they let you stab them. You can also pretend to be an enemy spy so you don't even have to ask your teammates to shoot you. Double acting! Double acting! <laughs> Do be aware that disguises are used to blend in. Usually, you don't have to fool players for more than a couple seconds before making your move. Sometimes there are exceptions to this where you fool players for an extended period of time. I don't think they've re- They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. Nope. Nope. They, they have no idea. Bonus Play around with the original reward. Since when you stab someone, you take their disguise, you'll already be in a realistic position for pretending to be them. And this could help train you in disguise acting. Dude. Yeah, these videos so far, like I said, this is only number three. I don't know how many there is in total, but this is number three. They've been just super informative, man. Like, really, really good. I'm so glad that I'm watching these before I'm jumping into the class for the first time, because this is like, let me know a lot of things I would not have been thinking about, uh, like, my first time going into it. speed of 107%. And when disguising, the spy will slow his running speed to match the speed of his disguise. But he cannot gain speed if his disguise is faster than him. There is, of course, only one class that is faster than the spy. And that is... Scout, oh, right? Oh, okay, God. yeah, Scout. Scout is the only class that is faster than the spy. So the yeah, running quick. speed will be wrong. However, moving erratically can hide this. So be aware that moving in a straight line as Scout can give you away. Also, Scout is the best <laughs> example of hitbox displacement. When you disguise, your hitbox doesn't actually change. And this can be especially effective against some snipers. Oh. As the Scout's head is way below the spies. I Though see. The sniper will know to shoot above the head. The I see. Is different for different see, classes. I did not know that. Time to inform your next of kin. Soldier is the second slowest class in the game. Especially since you Soldier's awesome, though. rocket jumping. But even some experienced soldiers don't rocket jump constantly. But at times, you will have to drop the disguise to catch up to faster targets. Pyro. <laughs> Pyro is typically in close range situations and pulls out his secondary when further away from the enemy. Like I said before, Pyros that have the power jack equipped like to pull it out when they're not in combat, so you can mimic this behavior. Disguising as a Pyro can be really helpful for getting near enemy players 
since they tend to stick with their team and it makes sense for him to not be firing when not in close range. Just be very wary of the enemy firing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Demo is slightly low average in speed, but a lot of things that apply to soldier apply here. Typically, you can act like you're about to shoot at something with your stickies or grenade launcher. Okay. Also, pay attention to if they're playing Demonite instead and pull out the melee if so. You cannot hide, coward. Heavy is so slow that it's rare to see people disguise as <laughs> And because that speed is such a hindrance, it's best used as a wild card. You won't get to catch up to anyone, so you really need to rely on your acting skill so that people get close to you. But since the heavy disguise makes is a sense, wild card, yeah, people are more likely to fall for it if it's used as such. You look at my tongue tied, son. <laughs> Engineers are often seen at their nest, so it's best to act like you're preparing to set one up, looking for a spot, or running away in distress. As otherwise, it can look very strange to not have a nest. If your disguise has a gunslinger equipped, okay. fake being a battle NG and run around more, mimicking the more active playstyle. Man, I man, I, I gotta know how many hours is John Hale to have like on Spy now because he just knows it all, man. He if it's Spy, it looks like he's got it down. He knows it all. The healing is not as rewarding as the hurting. Good medics almost always have the medi beam on someone, so make your move quick. Running at people with the medigun out can make them think you're about to heal them and turn their back. Medics tend to use their crossbow or syringe gun defensively while backing away from danger, and they tend to use their melee when running in for the kill. You know, the Ubersaw with its stupid crit rate. The crit rate. <laughs> best keep playing Dan. The sniper disguise has a very interesting use, as you can use it to stand back and wait patiently, as you can pretend to be looking for a target in the distance, but in reality, you're watching for a good moment to strike. Players very rarely notice that you're not scoped in, especially if you're standing still and crouched. So you can just sit okay. in one place and full players for an extended period of time. But you know the hitbox displacement? Well, the head hitbox almost perfectly aligned on the sniper disguise, making it easy to headshot you. So if the sniper you're disguised as spots you, Ooh. run away immediately. <laughs> Spy, gentlemen. As mentioned before, when disguising as a spy, you'll appear as a disguised spy to the enemy team. Yeah. Again, it's a matter of just acting like an enemy spy. They tend to have their knife out more than the revolver, and you can use it while amongst your team sometimes. But this is not an excuse for running from your lines into the enemy lines, as a spy who does nothing with that opportunity is pretty sus. Oh, vicious. okay. <laughs> but Tonto, I hear you ask, which is the best disguise? And the answer is none of them. None of them. The same disguise over and over, people will catch on. Constantly switch it up and disguise. As different I people. see. You don't need to be skilled in just one. You need to kind of learn how to be like skilled in mimicking all the others as well. Because if they catch on, you're just kind of you know done for that for the rest of that match or whatever. At this point, people have a harder time pinning you down. That goes for disguise use in general. Don't act like you. Act like who you're disguised as. Learning out of someone's got like this creepy tone to it, man. I, I'm I'm really enjoying it though. It's pretty cool. Disguise is one of the most underrated parts of Spy, and it's a treasure trove of mind games when you get into it. It's the subtle things that give a spy away, but it's also the subtle things that fool people. Ooh. Ooh. Clips. Clips at the end. I love it. Dang. Yeah, I don't I, I don't know how many more are in this. I think there is at least two or three more for sure. Um, but so far this series has just been so good, man. Really informative. Man. So in a week or so, I'm gonna make a live commentary follow-up to this where I go over some of my really good clips. So leave questions for that in the comments and stay tuned. Okay. All right, man. So that was part three of the Spy Psychology series by John Hill 2. Of course, I'll put the original video link down below if you can go check it out for yourself and please do because that was just, that was awesome, man. I really enjoyed this video. And once again, thank you so much 
to everybody that recommended I should go watch this series. I completely understand, especially there was quite a few people saying, before you play Spy, you got to watch this series. And um, I completely understand now. I completely understand because it is so informative on what it's like to play Spy and like the things you do and don't need to do. But the videos also have like this awesome blend of not only humor, but the editing style and like just all the quality of the videos themselves, almost like watching a show. It's just so good, man. I, I see it. This is this is just such a great series so far. And um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. So if you enjoyed this reaction, do not forget to hit this video with a like, man. It really helps out the channel here. If you want to see me continue to react to the series, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to put it on the list to make as well. If there's anything else that you want to see me react to, it doesn't have to be TF2 related. I'll be sure to put that on the list as well. And that's all I got for you, man. So I will see you in the next video. And do not forget, it's Work Army for life.